So it's Halloween and it's all about spooky decorations. Today we're making witch cupcakes. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, cake decorating sometimes requires some specialized tools. So here's a list of tools that you'll need. Okay, so one of the first things you think of when you think of a witch is that pointy hat. So we have to make it part of that first. We're gonna make the brim of the hat out of chocolate. So you'll need a piece of parchment paper. It doesn't have to be a big piece at all. We're only gonna make as many discs as you need cupcakes. So I'm gonna take my parchment paper and crumple it up. So these wrinkles that you have in your parchment are going to make impressions on the melted chocolate. So when you peel it up, it'll look like a crumply old witch hat. It's all in the details. Now you need your bag of dark chocolate. It should be melted and pretty liquidy. So now we're making chocolate circles. They don't even have to be perfect circles. It's an old raggedy witch. Now these circles are gonna go in the fridge, probably 10 minutes or so, and they'll be hard enough to peel up. So my cupcake is just dunked in a thin layer of chocolate ganache. This ganache is going to be the same ganache you're gonna use later for the pointy part of the witch's hat. And I'm dipping the edge in some sprinkles just to give it some color. What I like about using ganache, if you're gonna build directly on the cupcake, having a smooth surface helps the shape. You can also build these designs, these witch heads, on just a piece of parchment paper directly on your cake turntable. You can put it in the fridge to become totally solid, and then you can peel it off the parchment and put it on anything. You could put it on a nine inch cake, you could put it on a whole load of different cakes. So what we're making today is just the witch's head. So I want you to envision just the, the green, we're gonna make it green, green head of the witch with the pointy hat on it. So the first thing you'll need in your piping bag is some green frosting, this is for her head, and your medium round tip. Okay, I'm holding my piping bag straight up and down. I'm about a half an inch from the ganache. With steady pressure, I'm just making a ball shape at the top, stop pressure, and pull away. It's okay if the witch is not perfectly smooth. She is lumpy, she's a witch, so just let her be. So now we're gonna make the nose of the witch and a little wart. So we're switching the tip to, I'm using a number three. All right, so we're gonna do the nose. You wanna start with the tip just slightly below the surface of the primary shape. This makes sure that it's connected to the main part so that it doesn't fall off. And right here, I'm just going to add a little wart. She's starting to look quite spooky, so I'm very pleased. Pick up your pink frosting. It should have a small plain tip. I'm gonna make the mouth kind of frowny because she's grumpy. So most of her face is done. The last thing we need to add are her eyes. Well, and her hair. You'll need a small plain tip, a number three, a number two is fine, attached to a bag of a small amount of white buttercream. Okay, so we're attaching a different color, so you don't wanna start beneath the surface for this one. So my piping bag is pointed straight at her face where the eyes are going. At this point, I'm going to add the pupils. So I need my chocolate bag. And just a touch of chocolate here. Okay, she's almost done and she's looking quite spooky and quite angry, but we still have to give her some hair. You will need a small bag of purple frosting loaded with an Ateco 32 or really any kind of star tip. The point is to add some texture to the hair. So if you think your witch is a little too soft right now, if you start piping the hair and she starts to move or something, just pop it in the fridge. That will set the butter in the buttercream and then you can bring it out in five minutes and finish doing the piping. So I'm leaving her a little bit of a bald spot and that'll be more important in a second. I do think she could use some time in the fridge to cool off. So I'm gonna put her in there for about five minutes. Meanwhile, I can peel the brims of my witch hat off of the parchment paper. Okay, so these are all set. They're kind of wacky shapes and that's fine. And you can see that the texture from the parchment left an impression on the back. All right, my witch has cooled a little bit and she's sturdy now. I'm just gonna add a little bit of new frosting to the bald spot that I left so that the hat can stick. So the side of the brim that has the texture from the parchment paper, I'm gonna have that facing up. 
So for the tip of the hat, you'll need a piping bag fitted with a round tip, a number 11 is what I'm using, and some softened chocolate ganache. You don't need too much. So you're kind of making like a Hershey kiss here on the top of her hat. And remember, it can be wrinkly and wobbly. It can be facing different directions. So that is the witch. She is finished. If you're making more than one witch, you can do this in an assembly line fashion to make it more streamlined. All right, well, that's it for our spooky witch cupcake. Please check out my other videos, including spooky mummy cupcake. And subscribe if you like them. Happy Halloween.